first day, although I left a little bit late, um, later than I was hoping to, I must say it was quite emotional leaving my family and uh, my animals behind and uh, especially my favorite cat, Gimli. But um, yeah, I'm on the road and uh, heading towards uh, Cork at the moment. And uh, once I'm through Cork, I'll be going through Cove and uh, be visiting that uh, first um, lesser known airfield in Cork called Queenstown. So looking forward to seeing what I see there. Weather isn't too bad. Um, it's fairly dry, little bits of drizzle around, but otherwise super. So really excited about getting going. Bike's not too bad, a little bit heavy, but uh, otherwise comfortable when you're riding. Just got to be mindful of it that it's, it's heavy. So I've arrived here at my first airfield that I'm having a look at. This was a former seaplane base from 1918. Uh, apparently there were 25 um, aircraft stationed here, Curtis aircraft, seaplanes and 1,500 personnel. Not much left here now, it's just a slip and a tennis court and, it's a, and there's a yacht club here that's been here since 1917. But certainly interesting just to come and have a look and think about what used to take place here. So it's just a slip and nothing much else. A few yachts in the bay. So I'm getting closer here to the former um, Ballyquirk um, airship base. I really don't know what I'm going to see when I get there. It's about uh, two minutes away. I'm not expecting much, maybe just an open field. Yeah, in rural uh, Ireland you've always got to just keep a lookout for animals and uh, tractors. It's pretty uh, overgrown around here and uh, mainly just farm animals everywhere. So yeah, I've arrived to absolutely nothing. It's simply just a field with uh, some really cool horses in it, but I'm assuming that this was the former, former base. So the horses are certainly curious. Anyway, I think I'll just stop off here and have a bit of a break. See the horses are coming up to to greet me. Hello. Hey. Ah, they're obviously friendly. Just coming to say hello. 
Hey. Yes, you can't get any closer. You can't get any closer. So yeah, I managed to find a tower here at um, Valley Quirk. Uh, so this was definitely where the former um, airship base was in 1919. Back on the uh, N25, having had a look at that uh, airship base in Valley Kirk, it was really interesting. It's just uh, started to rain now, um, but I can see it's sort of a black cloud above me. Uh, it shouldn't be too bad, and I should be out of it hopefully in the next couple of minutes. Although uh, that airbase uh, wasn't all that interesting. Uh, but at least there's still a structure there that was visible and uh, you know that made it worthwhile just stopping by there a little bit of a backward road going through the country roads to actually get to it but look i thought it was worth it so i see some patches of blue sky that's good news So I've got about uh, 2 hours 30 to uh, Wexford, uh, when I get to Wexford um, it's also an old seaplane base um, but apparently the only thing that's really left there is the uh, slip. So I might just stop by there and see if there's anything worthwhile having a look at because uh, I've got some really exciting airfields uh, coming up much later and further north I go up into Ireland and Northern Ireland. Okay, it looks like that little cloud burst is over now, so that's good. I'm just coming up here past uh, Yall, which is uh, between Dungarvan and uh, Cork and uh, there's some really nice um, waterways along here and a, a really quite a nice windy road really cool for bikes and uh, there's a, 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 a stop here where a lot of people just stop like a diner and uh, grab something to eat so I think time for me to grab a bite. Well, I arrived in Wexford and uh, it was a long day on the bike. It's now uh, about half past five in the afternoon and uh, it's quite overcast but it's pleasant. So I'm going to pitch my tent now and uh, had a really good time. Good ride on the bike today. I must say though the bike's a little bit heavy but uh, I'll just get used to that.